Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass Algebra 2. In this video we're going to look at the sum of infinite geometric sequence by looking at what the sum of infinite geometric series means. Then we're going to look at convergence versus divergence. We'll look at the formula for summing to infinity, solve an example, and then finally you can try the practice questions on your own at the end of this video. So what does it mean to find the sum of the infinite geometric sequence? So we already know what a geometric sequence is. It's a sequence of numbers that form a pattern when the same number is multiplied or divided to each term. So we have this example here. And if you already know this, please skip ahead to the next sec. We have the sequence 5, 2.5, 1.25, and 0.625. And notice that we're multiplying each term times 1 half. So 5 times 1 half is 2.5. Or you could think of it as dividing by 2. 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. 2.5 divided by 2 is 1.25 and the pattern keeps going. So what happens when we want to sum all the terms of our geometric sequence together? That's where we get the infinite geometric series. So we have the same exact sequence we had before, 5, 2.5, 1.25, but now we're adding all of them together all the way to infinity. So we're assuming this sequence goes on forever and we want to add all of those numbers together this entire sequence together, and that's what makes this an infinite geometric series. So we can also actually write this in summation notation uh, right here. So this says the sum of n equals 1, so starting at the first um, term all the way to infinity, and then we have our geometric sequence here. So this is just re rewritten in summation notation. And just a little reminder about what each part of this notation means. This is the first term. 5, 1 half represents the common ratio, that number that's being multiplied to each term, which we just saw in the last example. When it comes to infinite geometric series, there are two types of it. There's the type that converges to a numerical value, and then there's the type that diverges to infinity. So you can see here the difference we have on the left, the ones that diverge, and these are, this happens when the common ratio is less than or equal to negative 1 or greater than or equal to 1. In this example, we have a common ratio of 2, which is greater than or equal to 1. It then diverges to infinity. And on the right side, we have a infinite geometric series that converges to a number because if you look at the common ratio, it's a half. It's between negative 1 and 1. So it converges to a value and it becomes 10. So how do we know that it becomes 10? So that's where our infinite geometric series formula comes in. So remember, this only works for that has that common ratio between negative 1 and 1. So once you know that, it's a really simple formula. So we have a sub 1, which is the first term, over 1 minus r, the common ratio. So we have the first term and then 1 minus over 1 minus r, the common ratio, that number being multiplied or divided to each term. So let's now look back at our example. We want to find the sum of n equals 1 all the way to infinity of the geometric infinite series of 5 times 1 half to the n minus 1. So the first thing we're going to want to do is label the parts of this formula. So we have our common ratio here. And we see that it's equal to 1 half. And we also have our first term a sub 1, which is equal to 5. Now let's write out that formula for finding the geometric infinite sum. So now we just need to fill in our formula here. So we see a sub 1 is 5, all over 1 minus r, which is 1 half. So this becomes 5 over 1 minus 1 half, which is, just becomes 5 times 2, which is 10. The sum of this infinite geometric series is 10. So it's nice. It comes to this nice number here. If you're looking for more, check out the practice questions right here. The answers are up on my blog, mathsucks.org, and in the description below. And if this video helped you, please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks so much for stopping by, and happy calculating. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!